Hi there, my name is Connor Brown and I would like to talk to you about the importance of concealed carry. Now I would want you to imagine, it's a Sunday afternoon, you're going to the mall with your significant other. Then all hell breaks loose. All the stories you've heard on the news, you found yourself right in the middle of it. There is a shooter that opens fire on a crowd of innocent civilians. You are in the way. But even though you're shocked, you have your concealed carry license. And so instinctively, you motion towards your gun and you uh, grab your gun out of the holster. You shoot 10 rounds down range at the shooter, all 10 hit, and the shooter is now neutralized. This is a terrifying moment. However, this is the actual true story of a guy named Elijah Dickens. And even though this story is rare, it can happen to you. So I would like to prepare you for situations rare, but they can happen. First, uh, self-defense is not just a set of techniques. It's a state of mind and it begins with the thought that you are worth defending. And so, are you worth defending? I believe you are, and that is why I'd like to talk to you about concealed carry today, because I believe it is the most effective tool for you to defend yourself. So why carry? Why choose to carry a gun out of all the things that you could do? Well, everybody says, go take a self-defense class. Well, that's all great and good and all, but self-defense classes, they take time to uh, become proficient at it. Um, if you were playing a sport or whatnot, uh, and you were to train for it, but at the end of the game, if you didn't win the game, your life would be lost, I think that you would want to uh, depend on a little bit more than your own physical properties. And also, if you're an 80 year old, you probably won't be able to withstand hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, so that is why uh, guns are a great, um, uh, they even the playing field for all sorts of people. Uh, usually, it takes years to master martial arts, but in a couple hours you will be able to um, effectively defend yourself with a firearm. And so I uh, want to go over some statistics with you guys. According to the FBI, in 2014, it takes an average of three minutes to reach a uh, mass shooting. And what you need to understand is that mass shootings are actually pushed to the highest priority list on top of police uh, uh, calls. So three minutes is the fastest they can get there. However, majority of the time in violent crimes, mass shootings, mass shootings are uh, not very common. You are most likely going to be assaulted before you will ever encounter a mass shooting. And so the three minutes is going to be usually longer for you. And that is a long time to be in uh, true distress. And then also during Obama's presidency, the uh, about a half a million to three million people, uh, well, times a year, there was a firearm used to defend oneself. Uh, according to the National Research Council. And that is a quite a, uh, a number considering our population here in the US. All right, so what will you need to uh, conceal carry? First, you need a concealable handgun. Usually this can cost around $600 for an average uh, handgun. The, then you will need a concealed carry permit which can uh, vary from which state you live on the difficulty it takes, and a holster and ammo. And so most of this uh, cost-wise, it is, it is still doable for the average person. And really, you have to ask yourself, how much is your life really worth? All right, so 
Now I would like to go over a little bit of the requirements for your concealed carry permit. So you must be 21 and you also must be 21 to purchase a handgun. And also you may not be a felon, but if you are convicted of certain crimes, you will not be able to have a concealed carry permit. Uh, then the steps that you have to take in Idaho, I did Idaho because that's where we are. Um, you, there is no uh, fancy things you have to do. You go in person to your local sheriff and you submit paperwork with them. The sheriff has to sign off on it. And the sheriff, it's kind of up to his discretion whether he wants you to provide uh, how proficient you are at using firearms and you may be required to take a class. Um, and then your uh, original registration for it is $20 and then the renewal is $15 every five years. So uh, if you uh, do decide to conceal carry, you can be part of the half a million to three million people in a year that defend themselves with a firearm from dangerous situations and dangerous individuals. But if you don't, you might become a victim of violent crime. And most people don't really want to think of themselves getting in a situation where violent crime is a possibility, but it is really just reality and there's nothing you can do to stop other people from becoming violent. So please, don't be a victim, carry concealed. Thank you.